Hi, welcome to the next training of SAP controlling module. Today's topic for training is SAP controlling reports. In today's training session, we'll be covering the various reports under the different sub-modules of controlling. As we have already covered the controlling part where we have taken up with the cost element accounting, cost center accounting, profit center, then internal orders and we will be covering all the various reports for these different sub-modules which are required in a day-to-day -day basis for internal reporting and internal management. So in the reports, we will be covering up one by one each of the sub-modules and what are the various reports available which are very very helpful in a in any any business organizations so let's see moving up to the first slide is cost element accounting reports cost element accounting doesn't have much of the reports with itself as cost element account cost elements are mostly linked with either cost centers or any of the other cost object like internal orders and so so there are certain reports in the cost element accounting that we'll be covering up. First of all, the, there are three reports as you can see on the screen. The one is display documents, actual cost. The transaction code for that is KSB5N. Another report is cost element quarterly comparison. And then you can have the master data list of cost elements. For that there is a separate report. So let's move on and explore each of these reports in the SAP screen and see how these reports reflect the output, how, what kind of output and details these reports provides for the various requirements in the business. So as we are on the SAP screen, let's move on with the first report in the cost element accounting that is display documents actual cost the transaction code for that is ksb5n so that is what we can execute it over here i have taken up the transaction code enter and it takes you to the next screen for the report and as you can see the very first uh, screen which come up is it asks you for the controlling area so for which controlling area you want to have this report, you need to assign the controlling area to it. So the controlling area, I am assigning it as 1000 to it. That is what the controlling area for my company code. Click on continue or enter. So once you enter, it takes you to the next part. Now in this, if you want to have the details of different document numbers, which have been passed on the system or have been posted in the system you can find details related to those documents so for that you must be knowing the document number that is one thing and suppose you don't know the document number and you want to have the details of all the documents all together so in that case you can you can put the star on this document number and then you can go and execute this report so once you put the document number as a star that means it is applicable for all the documents for which cost element has been used for posting the documents so once I execute this as I have executed you will find the whole list you can see over here on the footnote the data are being read and now the informations are been put as an output so these are the different output which has been reflected to your screen which shows you that this first figure over here is the document number then if you move on this is the document date over here you will find the cost elements these are the different cost elements been created and then these are the username username refers to the user ID from whose ID these different documents has been posted with if you want to have the details of any of these documents you can click on to this expand option over here that plus sign on the very beginning so if you click on to this it will show you the details 
of the document as we can see so you can see the details have been reflected to you these are the different details the object now the object refers to the cost center the CTI refers to the cost center so this 103035 is the cost center then the cost object name is coming up over here as to personal care the cost element number has been reflected to you this is the cost element under which the document has been posted and name of the cost center has also been reflected to you the cost element 404240 is relates to sample expenses then there is the currency and the quantity then the offsetting GL account has been used under which the document has been posted so in this way you can you can have all the different documents as you can see below and even you can go down further to it there are a number of different documents which have been posted which will be reflected to you and which provides you the fair amount of details needed on behalf of the cost elements so it gives you the cost element wise details breakup for the documents as you can see another one over here so again this particular cost center relates to for juice this is the CO object that is the cost center for juice the cost element used over here again is sample expenses then again the total quantity is 12 pieces and the offsetting GL has been 101310 so in this way you can further you can even have a look of all the different documents which has been posted as an actual cost document with cost elements and even if you want to go to the original document from where this particular documents have been generated even that can be done you need to double click on this particular document number over here suppose I, I collapse this and suppose now I want to have the details related to the document number 100216 so if you want to see the further details from where this document number has been generated you can double click on to that document so once I double click on to this you can see now it will take you to the original document from where the value has been posted so the that document has been processed from this screen that is the process order confirmation display so when you when you confirm the process order an accounting entry gets generated and on the basis of the accounting entry a CO document is also generated and that is what this CO object CO document is all about so you can go back again to the same screen so this document number is relates to the process confirmation and the CO object has been generated along with the accounting document generated in the system so in this way you can you can analyze you can execute and you can find a different document number posted in the system one by one for detailed reporting so this is one of the report which we checked and now if you want to exit it do you want to exit this list yes so you can exit the report and even if you want you can you can execute this report for a single document as well suppose I want to execute it for 100215 you should be knowing the document number for which you want to see the actual cost document so suppose this is document number once you have assigned a document number to this you can execute it and once executed it will give you the details so you can see now the details for that particular document has been reflected to you so same way you can expand it you can have the details you can double click on to this and it will take you to the original document so in this way you can use this particular report for various actual cost documents details so in this way we are done with the first report of cost element accounting moving on to the second report is about cost elements quarterly comparisons now cost elements 
quarterly comparisons the transaction code for that is as on your screen s underscore a l r underscore eight seven zero one three six two three if we execute this report over here now enter so you can find the detail the the selection screen over here and the report says cost centers quarterly comparison so what the system does in this case is it gives you the different cost element amount posted quarterly basis so quarter to quarter amount posted in the in the cost elements have been reflected to you now suppose i want to see the whole quarterly details for the fiscal year 2014 so if you want to see the details for 2014 you need to assign the controlling area and then the fiscal year once i have assigned these two details now i can go and execute the report so once i have executed you can see now the output will be generated to you as it is processed in the footnote being processed and you can see now the details on your screen it shows you the different cost elements on the screen to you these are the different cost elements on the screen which are used for posting the transactions and these different cost elements the values posted to these different cost elements on quarter to quarter basis have been reflected to you so as you can see for the cost and element 300360 that is refers to staff mess receipt or expenses in the first quarter there is a total amount of 54911 but if you move to the second third and fourth there is no cost been booked to this particular element but similarly if you go down to this price difference GL account that is four sorry price difference cost element that is 400360 there is a huge amount being in the first quarter then there is a another amount in quarter two then there is in the third quarter and then there is a fourth quarter the total of these whole as a yearly basis for the fiscal has been added up on the last column so this particular report gives you the quarterly amount which has been posted to these different cost elements in the system So this is about the second report about quarterly comparison of cost elements. So you can make the comparison of these different cost elements from one quarter to the another quarter or even from one element to the another element as well. Both the op options are there in this report. So this is about the cost element quarterly comparison. That is what we have done with now we'll be moving up to the next is the master data report of cost element so in this report you can have the whole different cost element master data which have been created in the system as of date so this is uh, you have uh, you have done when, when you, we covered the cost element accounting how we can create the cost element so when you create the cost element cost element is termed as a master data so if the the company or the client or the management wants to know how many cost elements are there in the system along with their details you can you can find those things with this particular report that is ka23 so that is what we can execute it over here ka23 enter so once entered you can see on the screen now there are certain options on the screen to you cost element then cost element group selection variant all cost elements so it's up to you whether you want to go for certain specific cost elements in that case you can you can assign the cost element number number ranges from and to that can be given to it or suppose I want to know how many different cost elements have been created in between these dates. So you can assign the date over here. Suppose I give the date over here as 2014. I want to know about uh, 
that how many cost element has been created since December 1st 2014 so you can select the last option and you can define the date from and to that is in the month of December I want to know how many different cost elements were created in fiscal 2014 so what you can do you select this and you need to put the date from and to and now you can execute the report so this report will give you the all the cost elements which has been created in the month of December their master data details will be reflected to you so now executing the report so as you can find these were the different cost elements on the screen which has been created between 1st December till 31st December that is the month of December 2014 and even you can find the the master details that is the name of the cost element has been assigned to it and the different cost element category has been given to you and in case you have assigned any cost centers by default that has been reflected over here or else it is blank so this gives you the master data details of the cost elements even you can go down you will find the further details of all the different cost elements so these are the different cost elements which is created in the system so this is for a date range from and to that is for the month of December in case you want to go and check for the the all the cost elements which has been created in the system you can put the range over here as well so suppose I put the range as from three zero zero three six zero to three nine nine I want to see how many cost elements been created among in the range of 360 till 399 so I can put the range from and to over here and then I can execute it and in case there are you know any cost elements been created it will be reflected to you on a screen so you can find now on the screen that there are only two cost elements one is for a staff mess and another is for prior period income the cost cat element category has been reflected to you one and three and the first cost element does not have any cost center as a default but the other cost element has got a default cost center now what does this default cost center means that whenever you will be posting any transaction in the system the system will pick this cost center as a default cost center as you have assigned the default cost center in their masters but if you have not assigned any any as a default value in the cost center in that case you can assign any value while posting the transaction to which cost center you want actually to book that so this is how you can check the different various master data of cost elements and you can find the, those data and even after once you have got those data on a screen you can have those things taken up in the excel sheet as well so you can transfer these reports you cannot just only see it on the screen but you can have these reports taken up on the spreadsheet as well so there is an options over here on the header that is you can see over here you can print it as a print preview you can go and you can take it up is in the spreadsheet so you can click on to the spreadsheet over here and it will ask you whether in which spreadsheet you want to go up with so you can select your spreadsheet format and then you can click on continue and the whole master data list will get copied in an Excel or exported in the Excel so that is what over here coming up as and now once you've taken up you can save this file and can use it for the further processing of your details so this is how you can take those files from the spreadsheet or if you want it to be taken up in any other system other format you can go to this local file option 
and you can click to that it will give you the whole list of options in which you want to export the report so there are different options of exporting your reports to the spreadsheet and then you can further take up things from the spreadsheet part so this is about the master data report of cost element and these were the three reports in the cost element accounting that we have covered now once we have covered all the reports related to cost element accounting we'll be moving up to the next sub module that is cost center accounting cost center accounting is the most used sub module in the controlling part and that is why there are different reports on the cost elements accounting so in the cost center accounting reports we'll be covering the actual plan versus variance report then we'll be covering up the actual plan comparison report cost center and cost element wise report then cost center and period wise reports cost center actual line item reports and then the master data reports so let's move up with one to one the first report is about cost center actual plan variance the transaction code for that is s underscore a l r underscore eight seven zero one three six one one so this is the first report that will be moving up with so now i am executing the first report as the transaction code is there on the screen and now i can click on to the enter so it take me to the selection screen of the report this is the selection screen where you need to put the parameters on the basis of what you want to execute the report so suppose i take it for the fiscal 2014 and now i want it the report to be executed for the first period only that is one to one and the plan version over here you need to click on to the F4 key on the keyboard and from there you can see the different list of plan versions but in the most cases you have to take 0 as the plan version because by default 0 is taken as a plan version in the controlling part so these are the different parameters which we have taken up now and now you can go and you can execute the report over here so once we execute You can find the output in a while as the system takes some time to process all the data and give you the reports. So as you can see the screen and this is the report which has been reflected to you. And it shows you the details if you go to the top part that is the date on which it has been executed the controlling area the fiscal year the period from and to then the plan version and if you go below further to it now it shows you the data how it has been extracted so the reporting period is 1 to 1 fiscal year 2014 and now it shows you the different cost elements their actual cost and their plan cost so there are two things as we did in the cost center planning and the profit center planning that you can even go and assign the plan values and then later on you can compare your actual cost with the plan cost so as of now there is no plan cost being maintained so what we can do is we can just go for the actual cost and whatever the actual cost is there and the plan cost is zero so the total variance coming up in the third column as variance part which has been reflected to you on the screen so this is a report which shows you the actual versus comparisons for the cost elements but if you want this particular cost element to be divided in a particular cost center in that case you can go to the right hand side there is a cost center group you can click to this folder and expand this so let's see I have expanded the list of cost center group and as you can see these are the different cost centers which are on the screen to you so once you click on one of the cost center these different cost elements will get bifurcated on the basis of the cost center so you can see now for 
the cost center group 101000. This is the cost center and from this cost centers, these are the values which has been posted to this different cost elements. So you can find the values which has been posted from the cost center 101000 which is the common unit 1 cost center. Similarly, if you want to go to any other any other of the cost centers and you want to check what are the values been posted to different cost elements which is known as the GL account in FI basically. So you can have a check from these cost center that what are the values been posted to the ledger account. So suppose I take the next thing as a juice as a juice part and I want to see for that. So you can again check with it that these are the different cost elements which has been taken. So there is no cost element as on the screen but there are two as a secondary cost element. So these other ones are the primary cost element but the one which is starting with 9 is the secondary cost element. So in the secondary cost element the actual cost has been booked over here on the screen to you. 107878 for labor activity and then 29960 for machine cost and both are added together the actual cost comes out to be 137839 so this way you can have a look of the plan and actual comparisons can be done as of now in this no plan cost was been maintained else we could have an act, an actual variance on the basis of actual cost and the plan cost so in this case in this way you can explore this report on different parameters and it will have help you on different things finding out the different cost which has been booked on the basis of the cost center and cost elements and even one thing more even if you want to bifurcate the report on the basis of cost center even on the selection screen you can give the cost centers from and to if you know what cost center details you are looking for you can assign it earlier over here as well suppose I take it as 1000 I want the report to be executed only for the cost center 101000 so I can put the cost center over here and I can execute the report so the report will be executed for only this particular cost center now executing it so you can see now on the screen that over here that this report cost center over here is 101000 the common unit 1 cost center and these are the different cost elements but the actual values which has been flown from the cost center to the cost elements are these that is direct cost and spares and then salary then EPF employees and all so this reflects you the cost center what are the different cost values been flown from cost center to the cost elements so in this way you can find the report helpful for you so this is the first report of the cost center accounting moving up to the second report now is about cost center actual and plan comparisons so in this report now moving up to the second report is s underscore alr underscore eight seven zero one three six one two that is it the difference is it's six hundred and twelve instead of six eleven so now we'll be executing the second report over here entered so this report talks about the comparison of cost centers. Earlier we took, uh, just in the earlier report, we saw that the cost elements were compared on the basis of actual and plan cost. But in this report you will see the comparisons on the basis of cost centers. So suppose I again take the fiscal year over here as 14 and now I execute it for the whole, for the first quarter. That is from 1 to third period and I execute the report so 
So you can find the details on the screen which has been reflected to you. Now in this case, there are different cost centers reflecting to you over here on the screen. Earlier there were cost elements in the last report, but now over here you will find the different cost centers. And there are actual values which has been posted with. So these are the actual values which has been posted in the trans in the cost centers with the transactions from the other modules of uh, the SAP system. And there is no plan value over here. So let's search. There is no plan value. If you could have assigned the plan value, you will be reflecting your plan value and you can make the comparisons against the actual and the plan. And the cost could be contained on that way. So once you have a plan cost and then you compare your actual cost, you come to know where are the variances, how much more you are spending or how much less you are you are investing or you are uh, more ex less expenses are there and the profitability can be increased. So that is why these reports are used just to to analyze the different costs which have been incurred on different cost centers and how those costs can be reduced for future if it is much it is on the higher side why that has been on the higher side those things need to be analyzed so that the company's costing on the products can be reduced. So these are the different products that has been given different cost center names. Like eye drops has a different cost center, capsules has a different cost center, tablets have a different cost centers. So on the different cost center basis, you can have different uh, different cost centers you can compare with among the actual and the plan, and you can see the variances among them. And the in the internal decisions can be taken on the basis of that. So for internal decision making, these reports are very very helpful. So this is about the second report where we compare the cost centers with actual and plan comparisons. Moving up with the third report that is cost center and element wise report. The report is 613 now. So let's see the third report slash n s underscore a l r underscore 870. 13613. Enter. So this is the screen in front of you. Now let's see what this report reflects all about. So we can execute this report over here for again. The parameter on the screens are more or less the same. There is no changes to it, but the output which you will be getting will be different. So suppose I execute this report again for the third period from first to third period and I execute the report. So once executed it will process for a while as you can see now. So what does this report shows you is that it has a cost center. This particular cost center on the on the yellow line and the sorry on the blue line and then followed by a yellow line which shows you the cost center, sorry, the cost element. So the first cost center shows you that in the cost center 103000, the cost element is assigned as 300360. Why? Because from unit 3, this much amount was spent on staff mass expenses. So you will find that the details helpful in it. Similar to that if you go move down to second one like tablet. Now this is tablet. In tablet there is no expenses been done. That's why the screen is blank. But if you come down below like the these different cost centers now. There is no cost element being assigned to them. That's why there is no cost element. But if you come down further Let's come down to elaborate more of this. So you can see now again the HR and admin expenses. Cost center is 110010 as over here to you. This is HR and admin. The total value in this is 306271. 
but I want to know where this amount has been expended on. So you can find that over here, very next to the to it in the yellow line. That is the cost element that shows you where the actual money has been spent on. So this is the cost element where the money has been spent. That is a separate another cost element that is consumptions actually consumption jail where consumptions has went up with. So in this way what it shows is it shows you the cost center and then it shows you the breakup of the cost center with cost elements. If those cost center amount has been posted with any of the cost elements. So it shows you that way. Similar to the HR and admin you will find below further like consumption raw material is also there. So in this way you can analyze this report and it may somehow will be helpful for you in different parameters for the future for different analysis perspective. So maybe certain reports are not helpful for all the clients. They need certain specific reports. So maybe all the reports are not helpful for all of them. But whatever is helpful they can take up and they can use those reports for their requirements. So this report shows you the cost as well as the cost element in the same reporting and the breakup of the cost element cost centers on the basis of cost elements been reflected to you. So this is another one of the report. Now moving up to the next report is cost center and period wise report. So again this report is about 614. Let's see the period wise report of cost center. So again the screen is there on your screen now and now in this you have to assign the controlling area. Then you need to assign your fiscal year. Suppose I take the fiscal year as 2014. Then you can take the period over here and suppose I take the period as 3. I want to see for the third period. The plan version will always be 0. No change in that. Now this report will show you the cost centers report as per the current period. That is the third period which I have executed. So as you can see on the screen, the actual period is this. That is the third period for which I have executed. As you can see, third period over here on the screen is 3. That means I have executed this report for the third period. You can see the actual period amount being posted to it has been reflected to you. Then what was the plan cost on the period 3 has been reflected to you in the second column. And in the third column it shows you the variance. The variance between the actual period and the plan period is equal to variance period. So you can make the comparisons in the same report. What was the actual, what was the plan for that particular period and what was the variance for the different cost elements. Once you have done this you can move on to the next part which also shows you the actual and the plan period for one. Then the variance. Then again for the whole year has also been reflected to you on the other side. So you can make comparisons for these things on the basis of over here. So on the on the right hand side you find the current period details but on the sorry on the left hand side you find the current period details on the left side that is the actual period plan period 3 then the variance whereas on the on the right hand side you find the actual periods the plan period that is the previous plan periods and then the variance and then the plan total year and then the available after. So this this on the on the right hand side period shows you the details related to the previous periods and then for the whole year what is the available plan value you have with you. So in this way you can execute this report and you will find the details related to the current period with respect to the cost elements in this. As you move down it shows you more of the details of that.
and in case you want to take this report in an Excel or a spreadsheet in that case you need to go to the reports list and then to save and then to local file and within the local file you can go and you can download this report in the spreadsheet part So you can find the options over here and you can download the report on these different options on the system. And even if you want you can you can select any of these options and you can go for ascending and descending of the fields as well. So those options are also available to you as on the screen. So that is about the cost center and the current period report of cost center current period and cumulative that's what we have we have seen with now moving up to the next report is cost centers actual line items in this case you will find a detailed cost center report which will show you all the different documents that actually has been posted from the different other modules in the controlling module so the report over here for actual line item details of cost center is KSB1 enter to have this report there are different parameters now for which cost center you want to see the actual line item details if you go for executing for all the cost centers it will take a lot of time because the, the huge lot of documents are there which has been posted which gets on posted everyday basis on different cost centers so the best part is for which cost center or which cost center group you want to check up with those reports you need to to bifurcate the selection for that suppose I want to see the details for a cost center 11 one or 10 I don't need the details of all the actual line item for all the cost centers but I need a specific cost center details so I can assign I can put the selection parameters for that that the cost center should be 103 101 000 and then if you have any cost element in your mind for respect to which you want to have that detail you can even assign those things over here as well else you can put the cost center and that you can execute it now again you want to execute this cost center actual cost center line item details for the whole year or do you want this detail for a specific period so if you have any posting date on your mind you can assign the posting date over here to you so you can put the posting date and you can execute the report for that particular posting date so suppose I execute the report for cost center 101000 for the posting period from April till June so I want for the whole quarter to be executed so I can put these details and I can go and I can execute the report so let's execute and once executed the data will be reflect will be will be taken up as you can see on the footnote the data get processed and you can find on your screen the different data reflected so as on the screen now if you go for the layout on the top header it shows you the cost center over here this is the cost center for which the report has been executed the cost center 101000 that is com common unit 1 now if you go below further to it this shows you the whole details of the cost center that the cost center details that these are the different elements on which the values has been posted and all the different values what has been posted has been reflected to you as an actual cost item so these are the line items different line items which has been posted to these cost center via these different cost elements now if you want to see the details if you brought go down further to it and I just you want to go for a particular line item and you want to check those line item you can go and you can double click on that 
So once you double click on that particular line item, it will take you to the original document. As I clicked on to this one, as you can see, this has taken up me to the original document that is that particular line item has been created from the material document that is the MIGO has been done for that the gate entry has been done for that and if you, it takes you to the original screen here you can check those details and even you can go to this FI document and you can check what is the FI document being generated at that time so if you click on to the FI documents it will show you the documents there are two documents now one is accounting document and one is controlling document so whenever we do the transactions with respect to where the cost center or cost element or cost objects are related two documents are created one is for accounting document perspective and another is for controlling module perspective so there are two documents if you go to cost a controlling document part you can click on to that double click on to this document controlling document and it will show you the details so you can find the details with respect to this these are the details on the screen this is the total value which has been posted 233319 so this was the value which we on which we double click and we find a detail and we went on we cross check the details over here and it shows you that that what was the actual cost element over here what was the offsetting GL what was the total quantity that is 4000 quantities are there and if you go back again yes to exit okay then you can cross it again so further if you want more details you can you can go to this screen and it will give you all the details related to that now moving back so these are the different actual cost line items that has been posted to the cost center 101000 which you can go and you can check with so this is about the next report that was actual line item details which are we done with now moving on to the next and the last report of cost center accounting is the master data report. So the master data report basically refers to the details of the of the cost center master data. So you want the whole list that what the cost center master data detail name is, who created, what was different detail in the master data for different purposes or maybe for the controlling department needs those cost centered master data details so how I can have those details in one go so for that SAP has provided you a separate report and the report name is KS13 so if you go to the transaction KS13 now so we can execute the report over here KS13 enter it shows you number of options on the screen as the same way as we, we checked with the cost element part if you want to have the list of master data for a limited cost center you can put the detail over here as the limited cost center part you can put the range bound cost centers for which you want the master data details so suppose I, I click on to the first one and I take the range bound from and two and I can execute the report so it will give me the details for these range bound cost centers only. So these are the different cost centers on your screen and it's different name, person responsible, department and the cost center category currencies have been reflected to you so if you remember when we create the cost center we need to define these things in the system and even if you remember that in the second tab you even go and look for the actual plan values as well where we can lock and unlock the periods for actual and the plan part 
So these are the different details, master data details, which you can fetch up from the system in one go. And you don't have to go and check one by one for that. And once you have these details, you can go and you can take those details in the spreadsheet over here as well. So you can click onto the spreadsheet over here and you can take these details in a spreadsheet too. So this is how you can find the cost center master data details. And another thing is if you want all the cost centers, then in that case you need to select all cost centers and you need to select the date range from when to when you want this cost center details. And then you need to execute the report and it will show you all the cost centers created between these dates as a parameter. So it will take a couple of seconds or minutes to give the output to fetch the information from various tables internally within the SAP system. So now you can see the detail of different assets has been reflect different cost centers have been reflected to you these are the different cost centers been created in the system which has been reflected to you on the screen and even the person responsible name has been reflected to you too even department is also there if somebody want to put the department they can put the department over here as well else they can leave them blank so this is how you can extract the cost center master data detail from the SAP system and even after that you can take those details in a spreadsheet and you can use it for the different reporting perspective uh, as required in the business. So this, these are the different reports which we have covered in the cost center accounting report part and similarly there are much more reports in the SAP system which you can explore which we'll be discussing from where you can go and you can explore more and more of the reports at the end of the, of, of the training session. So this is how we are done with the cost center accounting. Now we'll move to the next sub-module that is the activity type and statistical key figures. So moving up with the activity type, we already discussed earlier in the cost center training part that what is activity type how you can create the activity types now let's see how the reports can be generated in the SAP system with respect to the different activities been involved in the processing of any products there are labor been involved there are machines been involved there are different other activities been done so how we can find those activity details in the SAP system that what is the rate being maintained for those activities which needs to be calculated and to be booked to the cost centers. So let's see the first of the report is cost centers activity prices. The report name is KSBT. So this shows you the cost center wise activity wise prices for each and every activities. So let's move on to the SAP screen and execute the first report for activity type that is KSBT enter. So once you entered now as you can see on the selection screen there is a controlling cost center group then there is cost center there is activity type group there is activity type so there are different parameters on which you can you can execute the report. If you want the report for just for the cost center that for all the cost center the different activities been involved to be reflected then you can select the cost center only over here and if you want the only for the activity type to be reflected then you can select the activity type below and once you have selected those parameters you can go down you can select the version and version will be zero for actual as well as for plan then moving down you need to put the fiscal year you need to assign the period from and to and suppose I take the period over here as 1 to 12 for the whole fiscal year. The price unit, you can put it as blank. You can put the price indicator as blank. 
then you can select over here display only activity price used for allocation so I want to see what are the different activity prices been assigned to the cost center that needs to be to be to be reflected on the report so now suppose I take up the cost center for one I want to execute this report for the cost center from 101999 to 101999 and I want to see the different activity types been assigned to these different cost centers and for the company code 1000 so now I can go and I can execute the report once I have executed the report now let's see the output so as on the screen the output is there for you the cost center 101001 has been assigned with two activity types as you can see on the screen if I go and check with the these activity types what does this mean so you can click on to this or you can click on to the F4 key on the keyboard so even it shows you the, the details so you can see the LB01 refers to the labor hour rates and MH01 refers to the machine hour rates so these are the two activity types which has been assigned to the cost center the cost center name is common unit 1 the activity type name is labor hour and then for MH01 is machine hour the currency has been reflected to you over here on the screen that is INR you can have your own currency that is UST then the total price has been reflected to you now there are two prices over here one is fixed and the another one is variance so you can see now that the fixed price have been taken up over here as total price if there will be any variance prices then the variance plus the fixed will become equal to the total price so whatever the fixed been maintained over here has been taken up over here as the total price as there is no variance prices so similarly you can assign your activities to the cost centers along with what are the prices to be maintained for each of the activities as per the days or as per the basis or as per the activities number of hours been involved that is something the part of the costing department to provide you the details that what are the different rates to be maintained for the activity types so this is the report which shows you the cost center along with the activity types the different rates been maintained which need to be booked for the costing part so this is the one of the report of activity type now you can go back so click on to the back and then you, the system will ask you for leave list yes and now we can go back so we are covered with the first report now moving up to the second report is range activity type so executing the report now s underscore a l r underscore eight seven zero one three six one seven and the SCP system now you can see the selection screen range activity type we need to assign the controlling area to it then the fiscal year and then the period suppose I take the period as again as a three and the plan version will be zero and I want to run this particular transaction or the report for all the cost centers and for all the activity types in that case I can directly execute the report but in case you want that the activity type report should be for a specific cost center in that case you need to assign the cost center over here in the selection groups or even you can take the cost center groups as well else you can take the activity type group or even you can assign the activity type over here so you can you can segregate your uh, how you want the report to be generated and for what cost center and what activity type you want the, the, the report to be executed and in case you want the report to be executed for all 
the for everything in the comp in the company code 1000 in that case you can just directly put these parameters as we have assigned in the selection values and we can execute the report so now executing after putting the parameter controlling area fiscal year period and plan value executing So once executed now, you can find the various details on the system. It shows you that the third period is your current period as we mentioned period as three for the current period and you can find the various cost centers over here and you will also find the activity types over here. So there are two activity types assigned to this, this cost center 101005. And in this cost center, these are the different activity type cost which has been booked to the cost center eyedrop. So in overall, there are actually two activity type. One is labor hour, another is machine hour in the controlling area 1000. And each of these activities have been assigned to different cost centers depending upon the different products being manufactured accordingly. As you can see, the eyedrop has been assigned with their labor hour and machine rate and its actual cost of labor hour for the period 3 has been reflected to you over here and the machine hour rate has also been reflected to you on the screen. Similarly, if you move down, you will find for capsules, there are again labor hour spent for in the period 3rd is 13959 and if you go for the machine hour, it is 5514. This is the actual activities which has been performed on the product which has been booked to the respective cost centers. There is no plan as of with respect to the activity type. So the plan is not been reflected. If there would have been any plan, then in that case you would have find the percentages as well. Now moving up to the next is the accumulated value. This shows you the activity accumulated till the period. That means it shows you the value from period 1 to period 3. In the first quarter from period 1 to period 3, the total labor hour cost is 14761 on the cost center of eyedrop. Whereas the machine hour is 3335 on the eyedrop. Similarly, if you move down, you will find for others as well as over here so if there is anything else like catch up for catch up again there is a labor hour of this much in the period 3 and the machine hour of this much and the total accumulated for the first quarter from April 1 to April sorry period 1 to period 3 is this and this much in the machine hour. So the activity type range report shows you the different activities cost been involved in the different cost centers for the current period and as an accumulated part as well. Where from this report you will find the activities breakup that how which cost center how much cost have been incurred on the various different activities on that particular period. So this is helpful when you want to know the activities cost and how those costs have been incurred and are we on the right track? Is there any the labor hour is intact, cost is intact or not? So that can be used for this. So moving back. Now the system asks you, do you want to exit the report? Yes. Moving back again. And we'll move back to the, the main SAP screen that is the SAP Easy Access. Now moving up to the next is, the next report is the activity type master data report. It shows you what are the different master data, activity type master data in the SAP system and what are the master data details with respect to the activity type. So let's see what are the different activity types master data on the system. The transaction code for the same is KL13. Enter. So you can find again it's a very similar one. You can take the activity type over here. 
you can put it as a star if you need for all the activity type details master data detail and you can execute the report okay it does not exist that means we need to assign the activity types or the you can go for the F4 key on the account type activity type enter so the system will show you all the different activity types being defined in the SCP system so you can find there are two account types as of now one is LB01 and another one is MH01 and you can assign these two over here and then you can execute the report so once executed the system will give you the details with respect to the master data of activity type that is LB01 refers to the labor hour the cost category is a star then the activity type unit is HR the allocation the cost element assigned to it is 9430000 that is the secondary cost element as said the cost element which is starting with 9 is a secondary cost element then again there is activity type category over here and the category 1 basically refers to the manual entry manual allocation and now this is the lock indicator if you want to lock the activity type you can tick mark this in the asset master uh, in the activity type master data and the activity type will get locked and the last one is the controlling area so these are the details with respect to the activity type master data so going back again one of the way out of finding the activity type is over here you can go to this the another one is you can go to the last tab all activity types and you can assign the date range from when you want to search for this you can put the date range like I took it as 1 for 2014 till date what are different cost uh, activity types defined in the system the system will give you the list of details along with their master data details so I can execute while putting the valid from and to date now execute it and you can find as of now in the system there are only two activity types for controlling area 1000 in between the period 1 for 2014 till date so this is about the activity type master data detail reports which you can execute and you can find the activity type master details so these are the basic details for activity types which are the different activities involved with respect to the cost centers and ultimately the activity type cost get booked in the cost center moving to the next now is statistical key figure the report for a statistical key figure over here is s underscore a l r underscore eight seven zero one three six one eight we can go and we can execute this report in the SAP system enter now this will also give you the statistical key figure values as we check same with the activity type as you can see on the screen so you can select the parameters over here like I took the fiscal year as 2014 the controlling area as 1000 I executed for the whole fiscal year and now I can go and execute the report executed so you can find as of now the statistical key figure is not used at all that's why the report contains no data but if there will be reports they in that case you will find all the statistical key figures and will show you all the different values it has for the current period or for the whole fiscal year as a cumulated amount so a statistical key figure is not been used much if you want to see the statistical key figure master data you can go to the transaction kk04 kk04 enter and that also you can execute and you can find the whole list of different statistical key figures defined in the system so as of now there is no statistical key figures defined 
that's why there is no records been found even you can go and you can search with F4 key on the keyboard as you can see there is no value found that means there is no statistical key figures on the system but if you have created any you can find the master data details with respect to the statistical key figures so till now we have covered for the cost element accounting reports we have covered the cost center accounting reports and then we covered the activity type reports and a statistical key figure reports statistical statistical key figure reports again is the same thing that whatever the statistical key figure values are there they are finally booked to the cost centers so for today we'll be covering up these reports in the next training session we will be covering the remaining reports of that internal order accounting and then the profit center accounting reports so we'll see you in the next with the continuing reports Take care till then.